move up to set it. Gardner kept the puck in. Here's Bodie driving wide. Shoots to the first save by Steve Mason. It's a tough one. There's a rebound loose. Gardner settles the puck down. Shoots. Scores! <laughs> of Gardner here. Can't get the shot away right away. Look at all the bodies in front of Steve Mason. And as we said at the beginning, Mason's the type of goaltender that if he keeps back in his crease, the pucks will find a way through it. Got some depth in score. Here's Joffrey Lupo. Nikolai Kuhlman with him. Morgan Riley joins the rush. Lupo stops up. Hits the trigger. Terry scores! Here's Nazem Kadri. Morgan Riley moves up and shoots, and he missed the net, and Mason had no idea where that puck was. Now it's in front of him, and he found it, and he kept it out of the net as the Leafs. Out comes James Van Riemsdyk. Got by Grossman, snaps his shot, Mason the save, the rebound is there, and he had no idea it was sitting beside him. Cleared away, another chance, Van Riemsdyk is stopped by Steve Mason. Uh, speaking of metal Lock Lemon, Giroux and Wayne Simmons are going to play against the Globetrotters tomorrow. Driving to the net for Kevin, what a save by Mason. The rebound and Fraser McLaren couldn't hit the open net. Here's Jay McClemmon again, Mason the save. There's a rebound. Short shifts in the first period. Here's Matt Reed, knocked to the ice by Cody Francis. Trying to fight back. Yeah, with the whistle goal, they jammed the Where's puck the in the whistle? net. Ernie had the glove in his blocker hand. Yeah. Here's to Kevin Pollock. He had a long way to go. He was caught deep in the corner and was trying to come around the we net. He had no one to play as the goalie had the puck covered. Did he ever? He had it for a little longer than he did. Did he get it right away? He didn't drop his stick. He thought he had it pinned and then was expecting the whistle. And watch Reed. Reed does a nice job of Nessel gave the puck away to Claude Giroux, and Hartnell starts out. Four checks on his right. Braden Coburn coming up on the left. The trainer, Keeman, and shoots. He scores! Kimo Tiemann. Here's Jake Voracek back to the top line. After the puck, Tyler Bozak. Kessel's there with him. Kessel stopped by Mason. The defenseman Grossman, so it didn't get back to Kessel. Scott Hartnell back the other way, hits the trailer, Claude Giroux passes off in front, what a save by Bernier, just Rob Mark strike. He hasn't been able to get on, but up throws a hit and Voracek, in comes Kimo Tiemann, battling for the puck, Voracek slides it up, front back in to score! Kimo Tiemann. A few interesting calls tonight. Yeah, that's a penalty. Here's a race. Adam Hall, who's played sparingly, gets to the front of the net. A short-handed shot, and Bernier got up and made the save on Couturier. It's in the pocket, came loose. Here's Troy Bodie, takes his shot. Mason fought it off. Jay McClemmon in front. How did that stay on the net? Now it's in. Mason Raymond initially had it turned back with the puck ricocheted in. Toronto has the lead. Bodie was reaching at it. You could see he couldn't touch it. Lenny's battled all night, but it's his inability to control rebounds that's really hurt him. Two goals because of it. Well, and the positive for the Leafs is that they started to use a more expanded bench. Got a deflection went into the corner. Philadelphia in the attacking zone. Two and a half minutes to go. Clayton Coburn shot scores. Under 10 seconds to go. McClement has no idea where the puck is. Kachuria got it, threw it into the middle. Bodie will clear it. And this game between Philadelphia and Toronto is headed for sudden death overtime. Two on three. Lupo fell in behind. Cadre does a button hook to Carl Gunnarsson. Fakes the shot. Side of the net. Dion Phaneuf. Lupo scores. Chip it over top of the goaltender. What a heads up play by Carl Gunnarsson. And a great pass. Nazem Kadri as well, you mentioned it, Simmer. Lots of points, four on four, lots of open ice. Doesn't dump the puck in, takes his time, sets it up.